Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the uh, fonts, the Google fonts and uh, how to add a custom font. So by default Kalias includes two uh, Google fonts which are Open Sans which is used by the entire team. It's uh, attached on the body tag so this means uh, every element uh, is using it and for the uh, headlines or uh, special titles uh, we used Montserrat fonts font from uh, Google fonts so to to edit the, the settings for the fonts please uh, access the uh, the backend go to Kalias options font setup and as you can see here uh, we can add as many fonts as we want from Google fonts uh, to see the fonts just uh, simply open uh, Google fonts or search on Google and you can see there are this is a enormous uh, database of uh, fonts so you you would probably find uh, what you want to to use so for example say uh, PT Sans we want to add it go back to the backend we search for the PT Sans font hmm it must be it must be well, there it is. We're going to add the font, and you can edit its uh, settings. You can, by settings, I mean the uh, variants. So you can uh, load the regular, uh, the bold, the extra bold. Sorry, bold, semi bold. Uh, 300 is uh, thin, italic, and so on. Now, not every font has this uh, variance, so you should go back to Google Fonts and, for example, open this uh, this uh, PD Sans font and look for the variance. For example, this one has a uh, normal 400, uh, bold, which is uh, 700, normal. Uh, 400 uh, italic and uh, bold italic so just four styles so I'm going to go back to the back end of uh, your uh, uh, for the Kalias team and we're going to simply deselect all these because like I said these variants do not exist so I'm just going to load the regular and italic regular usually means 400 so this is a standard and 700 is a uh, bold so for example in this uh, context of this uh, particular uh, font these four are uh, existing so I'm going to load them and save the font so you can also load the uh, subsets for example for Cyrillic, for Greek uh, fonts, for Vietnamese usually Latin is uh, by default and extended in case you want some symbols and uh, so on but you have to make sure that this Google font you're using has uh, these uh, extended uh, um, glyphs, I don't know, or letters. For example, uh, there are some, um, for example, German. German has uh, some special uh, uh, letters, and by default, they should be loaded in uh, Latin extended. So there you go, you can delete all the fonts. Of course, uh, you have to know that if you add too many fonts, the website will load much slowly. 
I mean, it really affects the the performance of the website. So you should uh, actually use less. So I'm just going to delete this one. And two is okay. For example, Montserrat is only loaded in three variants, while Open Sans is uh, really heavily <laughs> loaded because uh, it also has a semi-bold uh, type. Uh, a ball it has an extra ball <coughs> and uh, it's it's okay to uh, to load this open sans and to use it for uh, your uh, body later we're going to discuss about the font options which you can assign a specific font to a tag or I don't know a specific part of the website for the moment uh, this is how you set up a Google font and to load a custom font for example I don't know you found a font on uh, squirrel squirrel font this is a this is a website which uh, has a lot of fonts for 100% uh, free for commercial use so they are pretty much so you can download uh, I don't know font here and after you download it simply go back to the back end add a add a font and you can see that you can delete it move it clone it it won't be the case of course but um, uh, it's okay to have them uh, you can edit the settings now here in the settings you should define title for example my custom font and you should upload the uh, each uh, how should I say version of the font for example uh, probably in the future uh, true type fonts will be used uh, as a standard but for the moment um, to have a a stand uh, how should I say it uh, to have a fully browser compatible uh, typeface you should uh, load uh, the wolf uh, version of the font SVG and EOT now don't worry about them usually they are included in the pack you download from uh, the website you downloaded the font so just load them and they should be okay to be used so that's about it if you have questions feel free to ask on our support forums and uh, catch you in the next one bye